What's up, everybody? This is Corey from My Two Cents. And today, we got another quick Spigen case review. This is the Galaxy S7 Edge. This is the thin fit for the S7 Edge. Now, I didn't really like this for the regular S7, but they've actually made a few modifications for the S7 Edge uh, where it's a little bit different. Basically, you have a wraparound on the top and the bottom of the phone that you don't have on the S7, giving you a little bit more protection around those necessary corners. You can see that it's a little bit thin for the edge, and they got your cutouts for the volume button down here at the bottom. Standard cutouts for your uh, charger, your headphone jack, the downwards facing speaker, the mic. Good solid cutouts down there as well. Good cutout for the power button. In the back, we got a little bit of a raised camera bump, and up here at the top, a microphone port. And of course you do have the a logo embossed into the case as well. Being a thin fit case, you don't have the ribbed interior that you'd see on a lot of those cases uh, that they make. But you do have the protection at the top and the bottom, which is better than you have on the S7. Probably because there's less material for the case to grip onto on the side, so they want to give it that extra area along the top and the bottom. But I think it makes for a better case overall. It uh, gives you a little bit more protection. Uh, this isn't looking for a ton of drop protection. Uh, you've got a lip on the camera to help it so it doesn't uh, hit the camera lens. Uh, like I said, you don't have a ton of drop protection here. Uh, it's really mainly about scratches and maybe some light falling, but you're definitely not going to be protecting it from massive falls. So snapping on a little bit more there. And then you can see down here at the bottom, uh, all the cutouts line up. The microphone's a little bit close, uh, but everything's going to line up for you down here at the bottom for your connectors. Good cutouts. You get access to the solid buttons. You can put it face down and you can feel it rub against the surface that you're putting it down on. So it's not going to give you a lot of face protection on the glass portion. So you want to make sure you have a screen protector on it. The one benefit to it is this phone does have a screen protector, which is a film screen protector. And it does fit and it is friendly. It's not going to pull that up. Where it's a lot of film protector will be pulled up if you have a case that wraps around the edge of the phone that we saw with like the D-Max armor and those type of other film protectors out there. Anyways, I really like these thin fit cases and no, they're not everybody's thing, but uh, I'll throw the product link down below. I would give this one a solid five stars for the protection and the difference that it offers. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch the next one. Peace.